Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we find ourselves in these uncertain times, facing a world where the enemy seeks to destroy us. The Bible reminds us that the devil's intent is to kill, steal, and destroy. But our Lord has come that we may have life more abundantly. In these challenging moments, God has promised to keep us in the day of trouble, even in the midst of this evil time. As we gather together, let us hold on to this promise in prayer, drawing strength and inspiration from the timeless words of Psalm 27. We will read and reflect upon Psalm chapter 27 verses 1 to 10 and then offer a powerful prayer that reaffirms our faith in the one who is our refuge and our strength. Psalm 27 verses 1 to 10 say, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle he shall hide me, he shall set me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When you said, Seek my face, my heart said to you, Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts overflowing with gratitude and praise. We want to express our deepest thanks for your immeasurable love, a love that knows no bounds and extends to us, your children, even when we were mired in our sin and imperfection. Lord, we recognize that it is because of this extraordinary love that we can boldly approach you and live without fear of the enemy's schemes. Your word assures us in Psalm chapter 27, verse 1, that the Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Thank you, Father, for the strength you grant us to stand firm in these turbulent times. By your divine power, we find the courage to take authority over the plans of the evil one that seek to harm us and our families. We declare with unwavering faith that we reject and nullify their wicked intentions. Lord, we yearn for hearts that passionately seek after you. We acknowledge our dependence on you every minute of the day, every hour of the day, and every single day of our lives. With this desire, we declare that we dwell continually in your presence. Every sinister prediction made over our lives is hereby cancelled in the powerful name of Jesus. These predictions will not come to pass, for we are protected by the blood of Jesus, a miraculous and cleansing blood that speaks on our behalf. Your word assures us in Psalm chapter 27, verse 5, For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle he shall hide me. King Jesus, we take refuge in the safety of your pavilion, shielding ourselves from the malevolent plans of the evil one. As we dwell under the shadow of your wings, we declare that no evil shall come near our dwellings. We extend this declaration to every member of our families that they may experience the same divine protection in their going out and coming in. Your promise, Lord, says, I will never leave you nor forsake you, resounds in our hearts. We believe this promise with all our hearts and we stand in unwavering confidence that you are with us always. 
Your presence is our comfort and our strength. Father, we thank you for the precious gift of your Son, Jesus, who bore our sins and suffered on our behalf, demonstrating your unfathomable love for us. We are overwhelmed by your grace, for while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Lord, your love is the anchor of our faith, the rock upon which we stand firm. It is a love that knows no bounds, no limitations, and no conditions. We are humbled and awed by the depth of your love for us. In a world filled with uncertainty, darkness, and evil, we find our refuge and our strength in you, our Heavenly Father. You are the stronghold that sustains us, the fortress that shields us from harm. We cling to your promises with unshakable faith, for we know that your love and your presence are our greatest treasures. As we face the challenges of this world, we do so with the confidence that comes from knowing you are by our side. Your love empowers us to stand against the schemes of the enemy, to declare victory over adversity, and to find peace in the midst of turmoil. We pray for the strength to run after you, Lord, to seek your face diligently and to dwell in your presence continually. Help us, Lord, to draw near to you with sincerity of heart, for we long to know you more deeply and to experience the fullness of your love. We declare that every evil plan and prediction made against us is broken and rendered powerless by the blood of Jesus. His miraculous blood covers us, redeems us, and testifies to our righteousness in your sight. We are washed clean by the blood of the Lamb, and in his name we find protection and deliverance. Lord, we trust in your promise to hide us in times of trouble, to shelter us beneath the shadow of your wings. We take refuge in your presence, knowing that no evil can penetrate the sanctuary of your love. We extend this protection to our families, declaring that they too are shielded by your grace and mercy. In the face of adversity, we will not be afraid, for you are our strength and our refuge. With you, O Lord, we are more than conquerors, and we can face the challenges of this world with unwavering confidence. We thank you for your boundless love, your unfailing presence, and your unshakable promises. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Glory to God. If you are blessed by this prayer type, thank you, Jesus, in the comments section below. I declare that God bring to pass all that you have spoken in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, you can help us to reach more people with this powerful message and spread the gospel. You can do so by sharing this video with a friend or a family member who you know needs the blessing of this prayer and by clicking the like button. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus be with you all. Amen.